All righty, it's four o'clock Melbourne and Sydney time in Australia, Australian Eastern Standard Time, and we uh, would like to welcome everybody to the first touch point of Hack for Better Days, um, our Asia Pacific wide virtual hackathon trying to address the current and uh, future challenges that we may face during the uh, coronavirus pandemic. Um, I'm just going to ask Shauna quickly. Shauna, can you hear me okay? Is it clear? Yes, yep. All good, Sam. Okay. Yeah, cool. All right, let's 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 kick this off. All right. Um, so this is the first touch point of the virtual hack. It means that um, we've already been one week into the hackathon and um, based on uh, our interaction with the participants, we've, ha we've um, had um, very exciting projects um, formed. Um, and the teams that have, started, have already started working on them. Uh, many people have uh, registered for the build a map stream. And uh, yeah, the work has started. At the same time, we noticed that um, some people are struggling joining the team. Some are uh, having difficulty forming teams or understanding the details of the streams and the requirements of the challenges. So um, this is a great opportunity to um, give more information about the hackathon, maybe have a recap of the opening ceremony. Some people joined later and uh, didn't have access to the opening ceremony. For those of you who attended the opening ceremony, we had a bit of a technical difficulty. Our internet connection dropped significantly and we couldn't uh, communicate uh, the message and the introduction to the hackathon the way that we wanted to. So yeah, it was a very stressful progress, uh, process and uh, <laughs> if I want to be honest, but uh, yeah, this is the opportunity today for us to have a recap of the introduction to the hackathon and the opening ceremony for more information. And um, just for information, we are recording this session and we will make it available to the other uh, participants who couldn't make it on the Saturday afternoon or morning morning time. We are conscious that it's a weekend and uh, people are taking their time to rest from a week of work. So um, yeah, with that introduction, I'm gonna move forward and and uh, uh, have an intro to um, have the first touch point um, kicked off. So um, before I start, I would like to acknowledge the support of our partners. Um, we have many more mentors from them. We have, we have uh, a lot of contributions from each, each and every partner. Some of them are tech partners, some of them are support partners. Um, and uh, we really, really appreciate the inputs of all of them. So thank you all. Um, if you guys haven't uh, joined the Slack, please go to the Hackathon's web web website at developer.here.com forward slash hack for better days. And um, yeah, you will be able to see a lot of information available on Slack. We have YouTube channel, we have mentors channels, we've got all sorts of information that you can access to help you with the, with the hackathon. So I highly encourage you to join the Slack channel and be active, uh, actively participate in the discussions. And um, yeah, we are there to help you with anything and provide you with more information if you need it. <clears throat> so um, let's go through the recap of the opening ceremony. Um, for, as I said, like some of the people joined late and some of them were still having some confusion about the details of the challenges in terms of the processes, the requirements, and we are here to clarify those uh, those sorts of details. Uh, and hopefully in the next three weeks that's left of the hackathon, you can catch up and, um, and create amazing solutions and maps that can help the, the community to deal with the situation. So first of all, we wanted to highlight the code of conduct. We expect absolutely no harassment or any sort of bad behavior as part of this hackathon, especially that it's a virtual hackathon. Uh, it might be uh, the case. So if you are witnessing or observing anything similar, uh, anything close to it, please contact us on Hack for Better Days at here. And uh, I, I assume that like everybody's familiar with the harassment and I hope that you're 
very excellent to each other and treating each other with respect and 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 um, yeah, collaborating the way that you um, should do. Let's, yeah. Um, the agenda for the opening ceremony was basically a couple of speakers set the scene in the beginning. We had a, a countdown um, to the kickoff of the hack. We provided the, some introduction to the hackathon and the details of the challenges, which I'm going to go through again today. And afterwards, Angela Chan, uh, the CEO and the founder of Hackathon Australia and Hackathon International, um, gave a workshop on a hacker mindset, how you should uh, change your mindset in the sense of becoming a hacker and participate in the in a, in a hackathon. And also, she uh, she explained the terminology and the personas that you um, as a as a as a participant um, you should uh, um, identify yourself with, like like the hacker, a hustler, or and so on and so forth. Um, if you're interested more about that workshop. That workshop has been recorded and made available in the YouTube channel of the hack. I will get to the YouTube channel uh, shortly. Afterwards, with that introduction, Angela ran a session that uh, helped people um, to form teams. We are using multiple channels for people can, uh, that, that can uh, uh, join teams or form teams and invite others. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, if you have any questions, um, enter your questions in the question panel of the GoToWebinar. And uh, yeah, my colleague Shauna will uh, take note of those questions and we can um, address each and every one of them at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the session. So um, yeah, afterwards we talked about um, who wanted to become a mentor to register themselves and also um, made mentors available on the Slack channel. There is a, a Slack channel called Ask a Mentor that you can uh, join and interact with the mentors. At the same time, some of the partners have their own um, mentor channels like IBM-Mentor or Here Mentors and, and other channels that you can reach out to company-specific mentors that can help you with the technical questions or any other um, sort of inquiries that you might have. And then we as part of the opening ceremony, we introduced some of the upcoming workshops that are all recorded and are made available in the in the YouTube channel uh, of the hack, and you can access it. And we will we will get to it in a second. So with, with all of that, we kicked off the the hackathon around probably 7:30, 8 o'clock Australian Standard Time um, last week, and the teams and individuals have been working really hard and interacting with us in the past week. And uh, we're very happy with the results. So, yeah, afterwards, so like a little bit uh, about the details of the challenges and what we call them streams in the in the hackathon. Uh, as, as you're probably familiar and you've been hearing in the Slack channel about these uh, streams, one of them is build an application and the other is to build a map. And so, so the first stream, build an app, is basically a challenge for individuals or teams to build a mobile or a web application to, um, to address the challenges of the coronavirus um, uh, problems that uh, we've, we've, we've been experiencing or we will be experiencing in our communities and society. And uh, within this stream, we have uh, like basically three substreams. Um, so so those, those applications should target those um, substreams in order to first address the challenges currently being faced uh, as a result of the coronavirus. Uh, substream 1B is, uh, is an app or a web or a mobile app that uh, addresses the challenges society may face during the recovery period from the COVID-19. And lastly, uh, an app that addresses the challenges faced by governments and agencies to better respond to potential large-scale pan pandemics like this currently and also in the future. So if um, you're building an app for Stream 1C, you should foresee and envision what sort of things that agencies and governments may need to have in place to be able to be prepared in order to respond to these sorts of large-scale pandemics. 
um, that's a very exciting stream and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very interesting challenge because you need to have a lot of creativity and, and, and understanding of like the future of the society to be able to do that. And I really look forward to see what comes out of the, um, of the, of the apps that people uh, create. And uh, hopefully all these three, we, we will have representative apps from all these different streams. And the, the other stream in the, in the hackathon is to build a map. It's basically a very simple process. You gotta use our um, here studio to create a live interactive and informative map to basically provide information um, to your communities and the society to be able to uh, deal with all the challenges that they're experiencing at the moment uh, as a result of the coronavirus. So um, yeah, well, I'm gonna get to the here studio bit um, in, in, like in, in a bit, but uh, yeah, it's a very easy to use and simple application that you can um, um, enter your own data um, and visualize them on, on the map or create them on the fly, or you can use um, uh, existing data sources from open, open government uh, portal, data portals or entities. Like for example, in Australia, we have Orin as one of the partners of this hackathon. They have about 10,000 different data sets about dem demographics, um, building footprints, you, you have parks, you have like, um, uh, many, many different types of data sets that uh, you can immediately use uh, and visualize on the maps. Very, very exciting stuff. And uh, there are many, many cases of these portals on the internet for your communities and countries, which we, we, which we encourage you to search for them and find them and understand how you can use that data to feed all of that into one map that, uh, that your community can use to um, uh, um, to be able to identify, for example, resources, dangerous areas, um, um, vulnerable um, sort of communities like uh, like the aged care facilities or like the child care facilities, all these sorts of different things you, you will be able to um, uh, find and visualize and help people to, um, to, to see them. Um, a little bit, uh, let, let's get into the details of the stream one. Um, so we have some specific rules for this. Uh, you must have a basically a location component in the apps that you're creating and that location component should uh, use uh, here technologies offerings. So many of these offerings uh, are available for free. Uh, for this hackathon, and uh, if you want to more, if you want to get more details on these offerings, there's a specific YouTube video that we have on the YouTube channel, and uh, like uh, Richard Susselbeck goes into the details of individual offerings, and uh, we have other YouTube uh, videos that uh, get into the details of those, like in terms of like the programming side of things and the details that you can use to uh, create your apps. Uh, the other requirement is like you have to have a team of up to seven members. And by 14th of May, you have to have that team registered uh, using the link that is provided to you. I'll get to that in a second. If you haven't seen that link, I will, um, uh, we already have it on the Slack and I'll announce it uh, shortly as well. And the, the final submission for your apps is going to be on the 24th of May. So from this point onwards, you have more than three weeks to um, develop and submit your apps. And in terms of the submission requirements, uh, we're currently putting the details together and we will announce them shortly. We don't expect, uh, we actually didn't expect any team to submit their uh, applications by now because it's been only one week. But um, yeah, I'll announce uh, the requirements for the submission and where you can submit uh, very soon. Um, we have two rounds of judging. One is at your regional level. Like for example, if your country is in Southeast Asia, you will have a judge, judging panel specific for the Southeast Asia. And, um, and yeah, they choose the, 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 the top uh, teams to go to the final round, which will be at the APEC, APEC level. And there will be a, like, a, like a more um, um, comprehensive judgment uh, to, to um, determine the final winners, uh, which will win the grand prizes. 
the competition for stream one is open only to APAC residents. So if you're listening to this or you um, or you're planning to uh, build an app and you're not residing in the Asia Pacific region, please um, get in contact with us because you're not allowed to participate. Um, yeah, and in terms of the submission requirements, uh, we will be announcing them shortly. So just to simplify the process for stream one, first of all, you gotta understand the hack. We covered them in the opening ceremony and we're gonna reiterate on them on the, each of the touch points with these uh, with those with, with our participants the second step is forming a team if you haven't formed a team or if you haven't joined any teams we are going to help you to do so so um, i encourage you to get in touch with us after this and um, yeah we can help you to find a team or form one second uh, third step is once you have the team is to choose a relevant problem that you want to address after that, you can brainstorm with your in, in, inside your team. Also, you can uh, brainstorm and get mentors on board to refine that idea and design a solution for it. So that, that, that is basically the next step for the hackathon. Up until now, we were going through the ideation phase and team forming, which I'll get to it in a second. Um, but yeah, the next step is basically to design your solution and identify all these different components that you need to put together uh, to build that app. And naturally, building that app and implementing it would go as the next step. So once all of that is done, we want you to uh, prepare a presentation and a pitch. So uh, um, in, on the last week of the hackathon, we will have a number of uh, workshops that will help you to identify the the requirements and also the the attributes of a good pitch that will make a difference. So it, as basically many of you are familiar with this, if you have the best application and if you've built the most amazing solution and but if you can't but um, you can't communicate the value of that to the judges or to the community, it's not going to win or be used in the in the, in the society at all. And all of that hard work will go to waste. And that's one thing we don't want to happen. So yeah, stay, into it, stay tuned. We're gonna announce these workshops very soon and hopefully they will help you to, um, to create a presentation and a pitch that will make a difference. Next, you will submit and, uh, and basically pitch. And after that is the first round uh, you, that, that will go to the first round of judgment and the finalist will uh, be chosen and uh, go, go through the second round and eventually the winners will be announced. Um, the, I'm going to have a couple of other slides that will take you through the detail, take us through the details of each of the rounds of judgment. So uh, please be patient with us. Um, so we also have general rules for stream two to build a map. Yeah, the submission is basically, uh, will, will be closed on the 24th of May, more than three weeks of time that is left. So, and um, yeah, you can take your time and now uh, we're gonna support you in that process. So beware, it's an individual participant only. Um, you can't participate in stream two as a, as, as a team or a group, just bear that in mind. You must use here studio. Um, if you don't know where here studio is, um, I'm, I'll have a link in the next slide. Um, we are, you're not basically limited to participate in only one stream. You can, you can build an app and also as an individual, you can join stream two and build a map that increases the chances that you win a prize. Um, as I mentioned, submission closed on the 24th of May. And for this stream, we only have one round of judgment. So um, bear with me, that judgment process will be explained in a few slides. And again, similar to stream two, there will be only one round of judging. And again, similarly, it's open only to the Asia Pacific residents. Um, we, we will have very, very simple submission requirements. We want you to create your map and publish it um, and send the URL and a PowerPoint pres presentation addressing the judging criteria, which I will explain to you um, shortly. Um, send that email to us and that will count as your submission. 
And uh, so in order for us to, and yourself to be able to track your submission, we will have a probably a Google Doc or a spreadsheet somewhere that, that you can see. And uh, if you want to change your submission, um, you will be able to uh, do that. Yeah, this is our uh, new studio. Um, and um, yeah, training videos are already available on, on, on the YouTube channel of The Hack. If you haven't checked it out, I highly encourage you to do that if you're, if you're participating in stream two. There is one comprehensive video that um, Raymond Camden um, uh, presented. It's over an hour long and it, it talks about every details of using this. And uh, we created another one that basically takes you through the steps A to Z of creating a map. So uh, it basically, how to open the application, how to add your own data or download the data from somewhere else and visualize it on a map and finally publish it. All of that tutorial is less than 10 minutes long. So um, it's, it's a very good uh, way to start working with this application. At the same time, if you, if you need more resources on this, get in touch with one of our organizers and uh, we will provide you with more uh, links and resources for you to, um, to use. Again, before I uh, continue, I'd like to uh, mention that uh, if you have any questions, please uh, write your questions in the question board on the GoToWebinar. And uh, yeah, my colleague Shana will take note of these and we will cover um, each of the questions at the end of the session. Thank you. Um, so yeah, this is a snapshot of our uh, YouTube channel. The address is up there. You don't really need to take notes. We will make this uh, uh, this uh, video and also the slides available to you on the Slack channel. So uh, just pay attention in order for you to not to miss anything. Yeah. I highly encourage you to pay a visit to the YouTube channel, especially if you joined the hackathon late, or if 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 you if you didn't see any of the posts on this on, on the hacks YouTube channel um, channel. Yeah, just to summarize the hackathon timeline, the the kickoff was on the twenty fourth of April last Friday. Um, oh, not last Friday the Friday before last. And uh, yeah, so the first week until 1st of May, which was yesterday, it was the period we call it ideation and design. Uh, we wanted people to form their own teams and participate in here uh, and other partners workshops, get familiarized with the hacker mindset. And also IBM ran a design thinking workshop, which we unfortunately didn't have the facilities to record it, but uh, I'm sure if you're uh, interested, there are so many different resources available on design thinking to uh, basically take you through the steps that you need to um, start from an idea and take your idea and mature it all the way to the point that it's ready to um, be built as an application and build an application and test it. Um, for its original purpose and see if it actually works. So design thinking is a very, very interesting uh, concept and um, I highly encourage you to have a look at it. Even if you're not using it for this hackathon, which I highly encourage you to do so, uh, it's really, really good for your career and it will help you a lot. And uh, yeah, finally, we wanted people in each team to discuss their ideas internally and also with the mentors. Don't worry if you haven't done it, you haven't, um, lost much time we, as you can see in the slides you have another three weeks to be able to formulate your ideas design and develop your applications and submit them so as you can see today is the first touch point it was originally supposed to be first of may but we realized friday may not be a great great time everybody's tired after work uh, a week of work and uh, yeah so we pushed it till today and the next uh, touch point will be on the 8th of May and the one after will be on the 15th. So between 15th of May and 24th, we call that period the pitch preparation week. So we expect you to have an idea about the application that you're developing and it's almost there and uh, we're gonna prepare you for building a, and creating a pitch and communicate um, uh, that with um, 
with your uh, with your with your mentor and uh, submit it eventually on the twenty fourth of May. As part of your submission, um, you will be able to nominate yourself for one of the category prizes. I'll explain to you what a category prize is like in a second. Um, and then basically once you um, submit, there will be a period of judging between 25th and 29th of May, and we will announce the sub-regional winners. Um, we, we haven't decided on the channel to, uh, to communicate this with the participants, but uh, there will be announcement on the Slack uh, once those are clarified and uh, ready. And uh, so after uh, the sub-regional winners are, are announced, the top three winners, so there will be 10 winners from each sub-region that will receive prizes, but the top quality uh, submissions, top three uh, uh, submissions will be announced as the finalist, which will join the second round of judging. We will announce those finalists and we will give them some time to uh, present those um, submissions to the judges in, in, a, in a sort of a live session. And after that is finished, um, we will uh, announce uh, the winners at the end on the 5th of June. So we're gonna have a big closing ceremony on the 5th of June. So um, just uh, block out in your calendars. Uh, we will announce that um, uh, the details of that uh, ceremony very soon. So quickly on the, on the category prizes, um, we have a quite a number of uh, part, uh, partners who agreed to um, allocate some prizes if the participants decided to uh, use their technologies in their solutions. For example, if you use out systems um, sort of platform to build your application, then you will be uh, you can nominate yourself for that category prize during your submission and during the judgment that submission will be considered alongside other, applications that um, used out systems uh, to go through that judgment and um, potentially the, the the mentors and judges from our system will pick one as the winner of that category prize which each of those will have separate uh, sort of prize on top of the the other prizes that are um, that are available to the winners um, if, again, if you have any questions about these things, please post it on the question panel on the GoToWebinar. We will cover them at the end. I hope uh, this timeline makes sense to you and it's clear. So just a quick touch on the judging process. For stream one, as I mentioned, the sub-regional judging uh, will happen between the 24th and 29th of May. The judges will evaluate submissions against the judgment uh, criteria, which well, I will get to uh, very shortly. On the 29th of May, the final decision will be made on the winners and the finalist will be, will be announced. On 30th of May, we announced sub-regional finalists and uh, we, uh, we asked them to prepare for the final round and we will invite them to present. So they will be allocated um, some time to present their um, submissions. On, between 1st and 4th of June, we will have the presentations of, for, for the finalists and, uh, and, and uh, judges will um, assess these submissions. And finally, on the 4th of June, the decisions are made and the winners will be confirmed. And on the 5th of June, they will be announced. For the uh, stream two, building a map, it's much, much more simpler. So once you submit on the 24th, we will have um, our judges looking at your submissions between 25th and 29th of May. And uh, yeah, at the end of that, that period, we will confirm and announce the winners um, internally and um, uh, publicly during the closing of the ceremony. Yeah, in terms of judging criteria for stream one, we, um, the first mandatory, uh, which is, uh, uh, component, uh, mandatory component for your applications that like you must use here location services, whether it's track, uh, whether it's like an interactive map, whether it's geocoding, whether it is like a point on a map, or anything that um, that that uh, your app uses location component has to come uh, uh, as as a here location service. The second uh, 
criteria which will constitute 20 percent of the points for your application will be relevance and innovation so what does that mean so we're going to look at your apps and uh, we will see how the app is relevant to the topic of the hack and and also the problems that the that the community is uh, facing uh, also we're going to look at how innovative this solution is and yeah, in terms of like what sort of technologies that um, um, it's using, how creative the, the team was, and so on and so forth. Um, the next 20% will be feasibility and completeness. So what does that mean? Is that like if the project is feasible to implement and you're not daydreaming about and created an application that is not implementable uh, in the community. Um, the second question we're gonna ask to determine how feasible and complete your application is like, is that um, how fully has the idea been implemented? You may have a very, very great idea, but you only um, potentially uh, built like 20, 30% of it. So you're not gonna get mark uh, points for this, for the completeness. The next one is design and usability. The questions we're gonna ask are how good is the design or user experience or easy to use um, solution? or how quickly it can be put to use by the community that you targeted. And last but not least, another 30 points is the impact and scalability. So it's, we're gonna assess the ability of the app to make a difference in the community. And, and that's, that's the simple um, approach for us to determine the impact and scalability. Um, the question related to this will be, um, is it scalable for a large geographic extent or a broader community? Is it technically sound to scale it to the large pool of users? And so on and so forth. Um, if you are not clear about any of these criteria, please get in touch with us or ask the question in the, in the question panel. Um, the judgment criteria for stream two, building a map are simple. Um, we want you to use a lot of your creativity to use here studio, explore its different functions and features and create something that, uh, that makes a difference. And it's, it's exciting. Um, I'll leave it to you. I can't explain much more of it, but um, yeah, I would love to see maps that will dazzle me. And I'll be like, yes, yeah, that's, that's a very, very creative use of here studio. Uh, and that will have, basically 20 out of 100 points for, for, the, for, the, for the evaluation. The next one is relevance. Is the map that you created relevant to the problems that the society are experiencing at the moment or not? You just build an, a, a map just for the sake of building one. The next one is visualization quality. How good looking your map is. Are the colors um, sit well with each other when someone is looking at your map, will they be able to understand it? Uh, is it clean enough? Is it appealing enough for the user to use it? And that, uh, and that basically constitute the visualization quality. Uh, a lot of the points will go to the importance and impact on the community. It will be 30% of the overall uh, points. So how important that map is to your community and by having that, how much impact you're gonna make on, the, uh, on those people. That that's, that's pretty much the most important element of building a map. We want you to build a map for your community um, that, or, or your country or any, any uh, target audience that you are targeting basically to, make a, to, to actually make a difference. And lastly, we want uh, you to use data effectively. And that's the last criteria. We're gonna look at like, uh, if you consider the right data, and if that data is right for the map that you were, you're creating. I hope it's clear. If it's not, please uh, get in touch and uh, we, will, we will try to uh, answer as, as many questions as, as possible. So you might wonder, like you do all the work, you, uh, uh, so what you, what you can expect in return if you, if, if you become a winner. So I'll start with the stream two, build a map, which is quite simple to explain. Um, you, the first prize uh, will be a thousand dollar 
um, US, US dollar plus a here t-shirt. Uh, this is uh, the here developer t-shirt that we, that we uh, are going to give as a prize. I have one and I wear it most of the time. It's pretty cool. Um, so guys will get the, the, the black one and the girls will get the blue one just to, um, just to, uh, just to differentiate. Um, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> uh, so second prize will be $500 plus a t-shirt. Third will be another $500 plus a t-shirt. And the fourth and fifth prize, uh, prize each will get $150 and um, $100 plus another t-shirt. I hope it's clear. Uh, with that, I'm going to go to the stream one uh, prizes. So as I mentioned to you, I'll start from the right side of the uh, of the slides. We will have 10 uh, regional winners and basically seven of them will be just winners and three of them will be finalists that will go to the second round. All these 10 will receive here merchandises, uh, including a here developer t-shirt uh, or, or a here cap, a here branded USB, a coffee cup or a water, bo water bottle. Uh, on top of that, we you will receive uh, Twilio socks and stickers and a Postman t-shirt. So these will apply to all 10 regional pr uh, prize winners. And uh, so once three of these um, became finalists and go to the second round of judgment, the top three people, uh, the top three teams will win uh, prizes on top of what, what they've already won. So the first place will win $5,000 uh, American dollars plus one year of restricted membership of Australian Information Industry Association. Um, if you're in Australia, that will be really, really beneficial. But if you're not interested, you can basically waive it. The second place will win 3,500 American dollars and the third place will win 2,000 US dollars. So on top of these prices, each team will receive and access to RMIT Activator Founders School, which will start from June. It's an Australian university um, and um, that the activator uh, lies in, and they have uh, found, uh, um, educational programs for startups you know, or people who have ideas, um, and it's a great uh, program that uh, you can access. If you're interested, if you're not, you can waive it. Uh, you will receive RMIT Activator merchandise packs and also a Postman t-shirt for each team member. So there are a lot of t-shirts going around. Um, so that's the, the that those are the prizes for winners. As I mentioned, there will also be category prizes for Stream 1. Um, Twilio, if you use Twilio uh, uh, technologies, uh, there won't be any cash prize. Uh, uh, but uh, there will, uh, uh, you will receive a pair of ear pods for every team members that um, that uh, that you're in, and and yeah, if you end up using the Twilio APIs. So if you are using IBM Cloud or any IBM technology like Node Red or anything else, the best integration of IBM technologies in your solution. Uh, they will decide the winner and the winner will receive an IBM swag pack for each team member. There are a lot of exciting things in that swag pack. And um, yeah, um, if, you're, if you want the details of that, I can send it to you. So reach out, please. Um, Postman also offering $500 for a category of prize for if you use their APIs in your solutions. Um, we will have similar uh, category prize for uh, the use of out systems. Their, um, their category prize is $500 for the best use of out system platform to build an app. And last, but not least, last but not least, we will have ORIN, Australian Urban Research Infrastructure Network. They alloc have allocated an amazing uh, prize, $1,000 for minimum use of two data sets from their uh, platform. Um, um, uh, to in your app or in your map, and uh, you you will receive a um, thousand dollars for that. And uh, unfortunately, this prize is not available for everyone across Asia Pacific because Orange are uh, restri only restricted to uh, Australian data sets. Uh, so this this category of prize is basically 
only applicable to Australian participants. Sorry about that, but um, yeah, it's it's still something to uh, um, to spice things up within this um, um, hackathon. Thank you, Oren. Thanks, and IBM, Twilio, Postman, and our system for offering these um, category prizes. And uh, we hopefully uh, will see um, people using these technologies and uh, winning these category prizes. Um, just one thing to um, clarify is that like there are only one category prize per um, per partner, so only one per, one team will win that category prize. Um, besides the specific rules for each of the streams, um, uh, there are other general rules that we want you to uh, consider. The details of these rules are all available in the terms and conditions of the hackathon that is available on the website of the hack. Go to the um, resources section and you can download the terms and conditions and have a look if you haven't. So the general rules are you should be registered for the hack to be able to participate. If you haven't or if any of your team members are not registered and you decided to just randomly invite them, please make sure everybody is registered because that if you're not, that's a that's a one of the factors that may disqualify you and your team. So make sure you are registered. Teams can't really be more than seven people. Um, all members should have a here developer account. Go to uh, the provided link for the here developer account. It's here. Um, uh, it's developer.here.com and uh, yeah, you can uh, create an account there. Um, each participant must not be a part of multiple teams. So if you are working with one team and your name is on the other team, you're basically, that's a recipe for disaster. We don't want to see that. So you've got to stick to only one team and participate uh, in, 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 in that team. Also, each team member should be a part of the same region. So if you're a team, you're in a team uh, or you are forming a team in Southeast Asia or in, in, in South Asia or in Oceania, all the team, other team members should be from the same subregion, uh, some same region. So make sure uh, that you follow that rule. Um, if you're part of the team in the stream one to build an application, you can still participate and build a map competition. So as, as we said, that uh, the, sec uh, the second stream is open as an individual challenge. So if you are working with a, with a team to build an app, you can also create a map on the side and participate in the second challenge. Make sure your submissions address the judging criteria. If they don't, you will lose points and uh, that would uh, lead you to a point that uh, you may not win the prize. So make sure you pay en enough attention to the judging criteria and, and address them in your submissions. Um, the apps must be new. If you have an application that you built for another hackathon, that is not welcome. It, it, there was an exception, but we've already passed that point. Um, if you uh, wanted to use any previous code or, or part of the developed stuff in, that, you, that you did in the past, uh, you, you should have made it available to other participants to make it fair by 24th of April which, uh, I'm sorry, that was the 28th of April, there's a mistake there. So we've passed that point and um, yeah, you can't use any previously developed solution uh, for, your, uh, uh, for your app. The, uh, if you're a winning team, you, must be sub you, you might be subjected to code review. We wanna make sure that you actually develop that app and that app is actually functional. So don't be surprised if we ask you to provide the code and the application. Um, um, for, for the code review. Um, as I mentioned before, to be eligible for the partners category prize, you should nominate your project during the submission. Um, and there will be a submission form that uh, you'll be able to do that. We have provided the participants with a lot of our offerings and, uh, and services. So if you're using, I mean, not if, uh, 
as part of your application, if there's a location service or there's a location component that has to come from here technologies and we don't want to see any uh, other location solution providers um, offerings in your applications. So make sure that is the case. In terms of the tools that you can use to work with your team or uh, with the organizers and also uh, to refine like and work out your ideas and uh, for your brainstorming, there are a number of suggested tools like Slack, Zoom for your meetings or also WebEx, uh, Twitch to listen to the just to, um, to stream or uh, present your stuff. Mural is a very powerful platform for um, uh, following the design thinking uh, things and brainstorming sessions. Trello, which I will explain to you shortly, it's a it's an it's a sort of a Kanban board uh, that uh, we are currently using to, to for team formation. I'll get to it in a second. And also Google Docs and Google Forms that um, everybody is pretty much familiar with. You can store your documents, and um, we are using it for registration or interaction with the participants as well. Yeah, in terms of the teams, some of the teams have already been formed and they started to work. Um, they're, they're building the applications, but uh, having said that, other participants who don't have a, excuse me, uh, a team yet, don't feel discouraged. You have another three weeks. Three weeks is a very long time, especially in this uh, COVID-19 uh, situation time that we're all uh, blocked in, the, in our homes. I mean, most of us, uh, there are um, less strict restrictions um, uh, in some parts of the APAC. But yeah, in if, if you don't have a team, uh, you may have the questions, what, what should I do now? Um, so in terms of the team formation, um, I highly encourage you to watch the Angela's video on the uh, on the Hacker mindset, and it's at the same time the team formation video, the video number two on the Slack uh, on the YouTube um, YouTube channel. Uh, we have Trello boards, which um, are explained in that video number two. You can go introduce yourself on those boards, and uh, you um, you can drag and drop your name or any, anyone else's name if you already have a team into your team and form a group and um, and register your team. Um, at the same time, if Trello is too confusing, we have regional Slack channels, which I'll show you in a second. You can go there and introduce yourself with your skill set and uh, the question whether you want to join a team or you have a team uh, that you're looking for other people and you can interact with other people in the Slack uh, to be able to form your team. At the same time, if you have a friend who is a developer or who is a UI designer or any any has has any sort of skill set that you need, and they're not they haven't joined the uh, the hackathon. Invite them, invite them, and uh, form a team with them. Um, if any of these things didn't work, please reach out to the organizers uh, on the Slack channel on the on the on the channel. Ask the organizers, or uh, get in touch with the with the uh, with the with me or any other organizers directly to help you find the team. This is the, the Slack channel, uh, the Slack of a community for the for the hack. As you can see, we have a channel. Uh, we have a bunch of channels highlighted with the red circle. Um, ask the organizers, hacks YouTube channel, and also the regional channels that you can interact with uh, other people in your region. And um, yeah, find uh, people in, in, uh, to form a team or join another team. If you can't see those regional uh, channels, please click on the plus button on right next to the channels. You can see um, up there and click on the browse channel and you can be able to find um, uh, these channels and join them to be able to um, um, to post your things in, in those channels. If you if you had any issues regarding this, please get in touch with any of the organizers, and we will be able to help you with it. We will have mentors um, and organizers in those channels to help you with um, 
with, with, the, with the discussion to find the teams as well. Yeah, uh, this is the link for you uh, to register your team once all the team members join, te join the team and everything is agreed on. Um, so yeah, use this uh, quick link to, um, to fill out the form with uh, your, the name of the team basically and the name of the team members and yeah, um, and submit the form and, and uh, we will be able to confirm that and um, get in touch with you if, if we had any uh, questions or inquiries from that team. Um, again, about the, the build a map, it's easy to build and plenty of time left until the submission date. So uh, we highly encourage everybody to, to be able to do that to increase your chances of winning a prize. And again, for Australia, if you haven't considered Oren, uh, do so. Uh, they have a lot of amazing uh, uh, data sets and there is also resources available in these links and a video that explain how Oren works. Um, um, there's, there, there's a video about that on the YouTube channel of the hack as well. Um, if you are interested to join the build a map stream number two, this is the link that uh, you can express your interest and uh, uh, by that we will uh, know that uh, you're interested and uh, yeah, we can get in touch if we have any addi additional resources available to you. Um, in terms of mentoring, if you need any mentors or any help from the organizers or from the from the uh, any other uh, partners, um, we will have a lot of mentors available, and uh, yeah, you can go and ask your questions or in, um, have your inquiries in that Ask a Mentor Slack channel, and uh, we will be, be able to uh, respond to your inquiry. So with that, I'm gonna wish everybody good luck, and uh, yeah, if um, if you're uh, enjoying the hackathon, we and um, uh, we, 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 we would like you to let other people know through your uh, social networks, whether it's Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Yeah, um, and uh, yeah, invite other people to join. There's plenty of time left and uh, hopefully we can, a lot of exciting, good outcomes are coming out of this um, hackathon. I thank you all for, um, first of all, joining the hackathon and also um, attending this session. And um, we're going to go through the list of questions and um, I'm going to unmute Shauna, my, my, my colleague Shauna, so she can basically ask those questions and I will try to answer them to the to best of my abilities. Shauna, can you unmute yourself? Yes. Um, now, I haven't seen any questions. Is anyone put them in? No, I don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you can Nicholas also has a hand here if you're having trouble with the chat. So Sam should see that if you. Yeah, raise your hand if you uh, have any questions. Nicholas, I can see that you have a question, but this um, user interface is not very friendly. Mm. Oh, okay, I can see it. Are individuals without teams participants allowed? Are you? asking about, I'm going to unmute you, maybe you can ask your question. Nicholas. Uh, good day. I'm asking about track one, but I think I already know because um, I saw the slide there, it says team was one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just to uh, reiterate um, on that point, uh, Nicholas is asking, are individuals without teams can participate in stream one? And the answer to that question is yes. Um, um, as long as the team is less than seven people, yeah, uh, you are allowed to participate in stream one to build an application. Yeah, thank you. I, I'm trying to, you're welcome. I am trying to, um, this, uh, the go to webinar is, does yes, not sorry. have a very user interface and I can't seem to be able to, oh, okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. Responder. Um, hi, what kind of data is expected out of an app or web apps? Is there any specific criteria for that? So we have a question basically inquiring about any sort of data that is expected as, as a result of building that app. No, not necessarily. Uh, we don't any we, we don't require you to produce any specific data, but uh, if but the whole point of having that application is to provide people with a tool or if uh, or something new that people can 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 use to uh, go about with their daily lives in, uh, in order to be able to deal with the with this current situation. So um, I expect some of the apps run analysis on some sort of um, source data sets and produce like a more enriched and val more valuable uh, data sets and uh, provide it on a map or uh, in another way that people can use. Yeah, but in terms of the requirements of anything specific, we don't have anything like that. Thanks for your question though. Okay, there's another quick question is that uh, what should we do if we're looking for a team? And that question's answer is basically, I go back to the slides, probably someone asked that question that uh, it was before the slides. So yeah, watch the team formation video, uh, it's video number two on the YouTube channel. Go to the Trello boards, uh, the Trello boards, if I'm not mistaken, the links are all provided in uh, this. Can you see the Slack? Shana, can you? Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Can you, can you see this? So this is the, uh, let me show you. This is the Hacks YouTube channel. Um, all, the, all these videos, so that's the channel that you can go to. And all the videos are automatically uh, synced with the YouTube channel with uh, into this uh, uh, into the Slack, so you don't have to go anywhere else. Just click on this channel, and uh, you'll be able to see any updates. Um, so yeah, the Trello boards are already specified here. In for example, we have a Trello board for North Asia countries. We have a tre Trello board for Oceania. If you scroll all the way up. Um, you should be able to see the link with the description. The Trello board for team formation for Oceania is here. If I click on it, let me open it on this screen. My internet connection is quite an interesting one today. Yeah, so on the introduction side, you can introduce yourself, and these are all the other teams that uh, uh, have uh, other people join them. So yeah, if you watch Angela's video on that using the Trello board for team formation, you will get a better hold of how you can use this system. And yeah, again, similar to uh, Southeast Asia and South Asia regions as well. So um, yeah, that is for the Trello boards, again, if we have a Slack channel for introductions, uh, let me show it to you. This introductions um, channel is here. You can tell other people who you are. At the same time, we encourage you to do the same thing in your sub-region, in your region as well. So uh, people know that like you reside in, for example, Southeast Asia uh, or Oceania or anywhere else. So we encourage you to do to introduce yourself here if you're still looking for a team or, or other people uh, who like would like to join that team. Um, yeah, basically, if you couldn't find what, what you were looking for, get in touch with us and we will liaise with, 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 an existing, with existing teams to be able to see if they can um, uh, if you can join their team. 
because um, there are there are quite a few teams that um, they they that their number is not maxed out yet. Like so that, that there is room. So yeah, get in touch with us if you couldn't find a team in the next couple of days. Yeah, I hope I could answer your question. Are there any other questions? Yeah, I can't see any other question. I'm gonna ask Shauna, with that with that presentation, was everything clear or do you can you think of anything that was not clear so I can explain further? Um, no, I think we've covered everything. Um, I guess, okay. yeah, just interested to see if everyone's got teams and, and understands it all, but I think we're good. Yeah, fantastic. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to pretty much wrap this session and uh, uh, wish you all the best for, for the, the hackathon. Uh, if you had, if you watched this video and you had questions, um, get in touch with me or Shauna or any of the other organizers and uh, we will be able to um, uh, answer your questions. Uh, and with that, I'm going to thank everybody who attended this session and again joined this hackathon and uh, we're looking forward to the next few weeks of working with you and also see the, see the uh, amazing apps and maps that you create at the end of the hackathon. Thank you and all the best. Thanks Sam, bye everyone.